to the Honorable Executive Mayor, Honorable Speaker, the Honorable Chief Whip of Council, members of the Mayoral Committee, Section 79 Chairpersons, leader of all political parties, fellow councillors, distinguished guests, and the, most importantly, the residents of Tswane, I greet you this afternoon. Today, I stand before you filled with immense gratitude and honor as I accept the privilege of serving as your Deputy Executive Mayor in the city of Tswane. I'm deeply proud to join this esteemed council comprised of dedicated men and women who have tirelessly served the city and, the, and its people since 2021. I'm humbled by the trust that has been placed in me by my party, Action SA, our coalition partners, and the, and the council as a whole. I recognize the weight of the responsibility that has been bestowed upon me, and I want to assure you of, of my unwavering commitment and dedication to the betterment of our beloved city. Though this role as, as Deputy Executive Mayor is new, the work to ensure that Tswane and her residents get access to the services they so desperately need is not. I am no stranger to this council. I have served for four years, first as the group head of the Office of the Chief Whip, then as the Chief of Staff to the then Executive Mayor. These experiences have enriched my appreciation for the responsibilities demanded by our constitution of our city to, share, to shape and improve the quality of life experienced by approximately 4 million of its residents. Ensuring the improved services to the residents of City of Tuane is our utmost priority. To achieve this, we must focus on several key areas chief among these priorities, among other things, to ensure that basic services are consistently delivered to our citizens on a daily basis. That accelerated infrastructure development and maintenance becomes the crucial driver of our city's growth. That effective financial management remains crucial to the provision of affordable and reliable services. And that we diligently monitor the allocation of funds to ensure they are used to improve services and give expression to this coalition's pro poor agenda. Moreover, supporting the women and men responsible for frontline services is essential. Their moral commitment and dedication are vital to our city's success. Lastly, we must continue to support the most vulnerable members of our city and provide the needed essential uh, social relief. It is our duty to uplift and empower those who face economic hardships and to ensure that no one is left behind in our pursuit for progress. For a moment, I just want to address my fellow councillors. As we continue to represent our respective wards and communities, I urge you to lean on me for support and most importantly for collaboration. Let us, uh, uh, let, let us set aside our political differences and work together in service of the people of Tuaneng. Hold me accountable for my actions and let us all deliver on the promises we have made to our constituents in 2021. In conclusion, I feel immensely fortunate to serve as your Deputy Executive Mayor of this great city. Together, let us strive for a city that ignites excellence and places the well-being and prosperity of every citizen at the forefront of our every endeavor. Thank you so much, Honorable Speaker.